One of the strong features of the MBA is really the international mix of students that come from all over the world uh, and the international mix of faculty. We have a very, very um, diversified group of international faculty uh, also from all continents. In the intercultural management course, we worked with four different universities abroad from United States, India and Singapore and we had to work with one uh, student in each university. We had to do one project, each one on different site. So this allowed us to understand how virtual teams are really important and how really difficult to manage. So what we're going to present today is a journey of uh, Ride With Me, which is an idea of a business model that we decided to launch uh, in Mexico and in Colombia. We will talk about those details. You develop um, some kind of leadership between your, your colleagues. You need to negotiate with your colleagues. It's all about working in groups and negotiating all the time because your time or their time, sometimes they don't match. So you, you have to concede or sometimes you win. So I would say that negotiating, leadership, uh, organizing um, are the, the most important skills. Of course, you also learn about finance and you learn about accounting, which are good. Uh, you also learn about strategy, you learn about IT, you learn about so many other business area. But what you can really take from this experience is how you manage your time and, and people and how they manage your time and, and you as a person. New products create at the same time opportunities, but also create some and how can a company work on those level at the same time? This is, was uh, the thing which I was not expecting to get here, but I've got, it's intercultural uh, management. I didn't know that, uh, even if I speak four languages, I thought that I'm a very cosmopol cosmopolitan person, but I'm not. I realized that when you come from one country only, you're very biased. Biased by your culture, biased by your habits, and you think that the way you are doing is the best one. And here, with, uh, working with 15 nationalities, with 34 people of different values, cultures, you just understand that, uh, the best decisions may be not the ones that you are used to, God. So basically, we should go through a process like that, which you go through each and every step, but most of the time we shortcut. And shortcutting, we take away important elements of information. I tend to put also some elements of understanding how uh, innovation changes markets and businesses. For instance, the, the students uh, today will uh, uh, deal with the future of consulting, how technologies will change completely the consulting business. And I'm proud to say that we did it. We did it! Alejandro Aristizabal Arango, with distinction. Smridi Dindra, with distinction. Moi, je travaille dans une compagnie de construction. J'ai commencé ma propre boîte maintenant, en Afrique. Et je pense que c'est à cause de l'MBA que j'ai dit, bon, d'accord, je vais faire ça. I paid like uh, maybe 15,000 euros for a Russian MBA. It was okay for me at that time of my life. It was okay, but now when I compare the money that I've paid here twice more, the knowledge which I've got here and the experience which I've got there, it's like 100 times more. It's, uh, you know, it's like such a precious experience which I never, never, never will regret. 